Welcome back, everybody. It's a story of faith, courage, and eternal success. The new memoir, Coal Mine to Courtroom, follows the life of Northern Kentucky attorney Ron Adams. In the book, Adams talks about facing challenges as someone with a disability. And this morning, he joins us in the studio to talk about the book. Ron, it is so great to have you here. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. So we have the book here, and I want to kind of just start at the beginning. If you could okay. take us back to the coal mine, back to the accident. There was a part that I was reading the book this morning. You said you couldn't feel any pain. And in that moment, you wished that you were feeling the pain. Right, yeah, well, uh, being 19, not really understanding a spinal cord injury, it was like, it was just numb feeling. And, and I think you realize, I realized at that moment, being 300 foot down and two miles in, and not being able to move, mm -hmm. it's like, oh my gosh. So uh, the worst thing about it all was just uh, how much trauma and how much time it takes you to get your life back together. But I kept holding on to my faith in God and gradually I went from uh, not being able to raise my arms to going to one degree to the next degree because I was just shooting for a way to make a, a living mm -hmm. or a life. When you can't raise your arms and you're 19, your options of a career aren't real good. And so you were dealing with those physical challenges, but I know mentally and emotionally as well because you you say in the book at 12, you knew that your, your life's plan was to be a basketball player. Well, you were big into that, and then you transitioned into law school after the accident. Right. Kind of walk me through that journey. Well, uh, basically, I would have, I'm sure my classmates in high school would have never thought I would have done any of this, because when you're a young man and you play basketball, that's about all that mattered. Mm -hmm. But then to shift to academics and each, each uh, degree, it sort of was like, you'll recall when back in high school, and I was like, I didn't recall, because I didn't right. pay attention. So <laughs> I just kept digging myself out of the holes mm -hmm. and uh, getting through law school and the MBA was a, a very rewarding, challenging mm -hmm. thing. And then it was, now what are you gonna do? So I opened the office and put my shingle out and said, here I am world. And nobody came for three or four years, mm -hmm. takes your time. So I always like to say I'm, I'm a 35 year overnight success. <laughs> It, it always takes time. It there, sure are, there's no overnight success. No, I, I'm sure is. you can say that. Yes. Well, th all throughout the book, you provide people hope, and not just for someone who has had an accident like this, but really for anyone. For everyone, for everyone, because without hope, like the doctors told me, just before I turned 20, I'd never be any better than that. And it's like you can't take hope away. So. My, my only reason to write this, I felt God wanted me to put it down, was to encourage people, because it doesn't matter where you're coming from, we all need the aspiration that tomorrow's gonna be a better day. And we can certainly say we've all needed that over the past couple years, especially. Uh, yes. Ron, thank you so much. Not only is there uh, hope in this book, there's some funny stories in this book as well. Yes. Uh, it's wonderful. We appreciate your time this morning. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs>